It's my goal now to upload about one video per week. My video on stereoscopic parallax analysis of a pile of photos by Oleg Olenek is going slowly, so this is an opportunity to post some information that can be used as a resource for Apollo defenders. There have been some arguments where I would like to have used some 360 degree TV pans from the lunar rovers, but I couldn't find any. These would be particularly useful in dealing with those Apollo hoax nuts who say that all the Apollo footage was filmed on a soundstage somewhere. Others claim that missions were filmed in such diverse places as Mauna Kea in Hawaii, the Nevada desert, or Iceland. For some reason, these people never seem to dispute each other. My longtime YouTube friend, Bertie Slack, has an unlisted video showing two 360 degree TV pans from Apollo 16. I've taken a series of screenshots from those and have assembled them here for viewing. Where are the film crew, cameras, and lights? Where's the door? The Coke machine? There are lots of 360 degree panoramas from Apollo where still shots have been stitched together as I have done with these. But the clips Bertie found are from a rotating TV camera on the rover and in real time. There's a link to his video in the description box below. Bertie has made several entertaining videos, many of which have to do with Expat Taffy 1's outrageous claims. I have always found that Bertie is a very knowledgeable resource and has a real talent for finding photographs to support arguments in his videos and comments. Stop by his channel sometime. Last week, the contest question was, which of these people actually had no credentials in the field he or she claimed expertise? Well, here he is, Zechariah Sitchin. He claimed to be an expert in archaeology and put his own spin on ancient texts and cylinder seals in order to promote his nonsense about Nibiru and its population of alien giants, the Anunnaki. When his predictions of the arrival of Nibiru and subsequent global catastrophe for Earth failed in 2002, he piggybacked his apocalyptic predictions onto the 2012 doomsday flap. He was quite the rage among woo-woos for about a decade. The first person to get the right answer was Chu from the Apollo Hoax Net Forum. Congratulations! Several other people also got the correct answer. Since Chu isn't a YouTuber, though, he doesn't win a prize. All right, all right, he wins a prize. Jeez. And now, this week's contest question. This one's a little different because I don't know the answer yet. We'll have to wait to find out. Here's the challenge. 
try to predict what objections some hoax nut will have concerning these panoramas. Now, listen to directions this time. Give me those answers by email or private message in the About section of my YouTube channel page. It wouldn't be fair if someone gives hoax nuts any ideas. I'll be looking in the comments on this video and on Bertie's video for the first hoax nut to raise an objection. If you predict it, you win.